Welcome everybody to another video of Ancient Greece Reloaded. Today we will talk about the famous three judges of the underworld. By the way, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so as to stay tuned for upcoming videos. Judgment upon death is an important aspect of most of the world's religions today. In most cases, judgment can be simplified into one based on those that have done good with their lives who are said to go to a version of heaven whilst those who have done bad will go to hell. It is a concept that stretches back throughout the history of mankind and even in Greek mythology there were judges of the underworld. There are generally considered to be three judges of the underworld, Radamanthes, Aechos and Minos, although some sources at one point were quoted as saying Radamanthes was the sole decision maker. In Greek mythology, upon death, Herms would come to collect the soul of the deceased and lead them into Hades. Charon would be there, waiting to transport them across the river Aheron. Those that had not been buried with the proper funeral rites, including the placement of coins between their lips, could though not pay for passage and were left to wander aimlessly along the banks of the river. Those souls that crossed the river would then pass by Kerberos, before coming into the presence of the three judges. Radamanthes was said to judge the souls from Asia, Aechos would pass judgment on those from Europe and Minos would have a deciding vote in case of dispute. Those judged to have done overwhelming good in their lives would pass to Go Elysium, the islands of the blessed, a version of paradise where all heroes lived. Those whose lives were full of bad deeds though were sent to Tartarus. The judges though could also make a third decision where good and evil balanced each other out, then souls were sent to the fields of Asmodel, a place of endless and monotonous existence. Radamanthes, Aechos and Minos were appointed to the roles of judges by Zeus, indeed all three were demigods, sons of Zeus. There are obvious reasons why Radamanthes and Aechos were chosen, or the case for Minos is not so clear. In many religions there is normally simply heaven or hell, but in Greek mythology there is three possibilities, three of course being an important number in ancient Greece. There is a belief though that by offering only one really good prospect out of three for the departed that more people would choose to be heroic and ensure that good actions were always more important than the indifferent or bad. The three judges of the souls in the underworld were Minos, Aechos and Radamanthes. When these men died, they were assigned to judge the dead. The underworld was an extremely vast area with an entrance called Avernus. Herms led the souls to Avernus and headed the ferry that went across the Heron. When a spirit, assuming that a Greek coin was placed on the lips of the corpse, please note, usually on the mouth and not the eyes, was brought across the river Styx by Haron, the spirit best by Kerberos, who stood guard at the entrance of the realm of Hades. A spirit, however, would not be brought across the river Styx if the fare could not be paid. Upon passing Kerberos, who allowed all to enter but no one to exit, the soul would confront the three aforementioned judges. The soul would then be judged and would most likely become a ghost in the Elysian fields. However, harsh sentences would be handed out to any of the dead who committed atrocities, which included a disrespect of the parents and the defying of the gods. Minos Minos was the son of Zeus and Europa and the king of Crete. He had ruled over Crete along with the islands of the Aegean Sea. During hardships, Minos had appealed to Poseidon for aid. As a result, Poseidon sent a white bull that Minos was supposed to sacrifice to Poseidon, but Minos decided otherwise. Enraged, Poseidon cursed Minos' wife, Pasiphae. Then, Daedalus decided to construct a wooden bull for Pasiphae to take shelter in from Poseidon, but the bull impregnated Pasiphae, resulting in the birth of the Minotaur, who was eventually contained in the labyrinth. According to one myth, Minos was said to have passed away in Sicily during his quest to find Daedalus, who had divulged the clue as to how to escape out of the labyrinth. In addition, Minos travelled from city to city to find Daedalus, and when Minos reached Caminus in Sicily, he confronted King Cocalus, who had taken Daedalus into his court. Minos was then killed with boiling water while taking a bath by the daughters of Cocalus. Another conventional myth entailed Minos as a great ruler who died and became the appeals court judge, joining Aechos and Radamanthes. Therefore, Minos' role as a judge after his death was to have the deciding vote, which held significant weight in the judging of the souls in the underworld. Aechos Aechos was the king of the island of Aegina in the Saronic Gulf and was notable for his loyalty and sound judgment during his reign over all the Hellas. He was the son of Zeus and Aegina. 
During his reign, his kingdom experienced a dire plague and consequently he made an appeal to Zeus for aid. As a response, Zeus changed the local ants into people known as the Myrmidons. Interestingly enough, Aechos was also said to be the grandfather of Achilles and eventually Aechos constructed a temple dedicated to Zeus, while helping both Poseidon and Apollo construct the famous walls of Troy. Aechos became the judge of the Europeans in the underworld after his death. Radamanthis Radamanthis was the son of Zeus and Europa, raised by Sterion and the brother of Minos and Sarpedon. According to one myth, he ruled Crete prior to Minos' rule, but was driven out by Minos, who was fueled by jealousy. Another version of a myth encompassed Minos expelling Randamanthus from Crete and Minos, Sarpedon and Radamanthus quarreling over Miletus, the son of Apollo and Aria. Naturally, Miletus preferred Sarpedon, so Minos, driven by revenge, conquered all of Crete. After his death, Radamanthus, as a result of his inflexible integrity, became a judge of the Asians in the underworld. Virgil's The I Need notes that Radamanthus was responsible for punishing the damned in the underworld. Let us finish with the following saying. The words of the truth are simple, as he lose. That being said, remember guys to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel, it would help us a lot. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.